Why Johnny Can't Come Home by Noreen N. Gosh. Um, this was originally published, I believe, in the late... Uh, oh, no, November 2000 is when this, this book came out. Um, very interesting story. If you're following some of these videos, you're probably well aware of this. Um, I'm not sure how hard this book is to find now because uh, it, this is one of those that kind of goes, it's like trying to pin down a, a, a good stock price. It goes up and down depending on what people's attitudes are about this at the time. But uh, Wine Johnny Can't Come Home by Noreen Ngosh, published in 2000. This is the story of her son who was kidnapped on his paper route. He went out to throw papers one morning, never came back. They found his wagon full of newspapers and never found him. Um, I believe he was about 12 years old and this launched this massive hunt for the kid. And along the way, uh, she describes her, the issue she had with the local law enforcement, with the FBI. There's some really bizarre stuff that happened in the course of her trying to find her son. Um, you get the idea, she never comes out quite and says it, as, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be paraphrasing by saying this, but she definitely implies heavily that her husband was possibly involved. Um, they split up not long after this. Um, There's some really bizarre stuff that happened with her husband, like her husband going to meetings with investigators with uh, someone who looked like his wife, looked like Noreen, that, uh, and she even has a picture of her in here. Um, so there's a lot of that that's just really strange that um, you wonder what on earth was, was really going on. To this day, um, her son remains missing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find that picture fast enough, but... Um, Anyway, good information. The only, if my only complaint with this, um, and I, it's totally understandable given that this is a, essentially a self-published book, is it definitely could have used an editor. There's some pages that repeat. There's uh, some content that's a little out out of, or, or some stuff that you'll see that's out of order. Some of the references are a little hard to follow, um, but all very excusable when you look at what you know what you're seeing here. This is. Uh, this is the kind of book that's going to be really difficult to write, uh, especially when you're talking, you're naming names, places, dates, times, and especially you're talking about people who are still kicking around who could come after you. So um, I, she is of the mind that this is part of a, a national kidnapping ring. I'm inclined to think that that is very much the case. Um, an interesting thing happened. This book came out in November of 2000. Later in um, 2005, I believe it was, when Hunter Thompson um, killed himself. I believe that was the beginning of 2005. Um, that was around the time that a reporter for an independent newspaper by the name of Jeff Gannon um, or Jeff Guckert uh, suffer, uh, surfaced in the White House press corps. And here was this guy who suddenly surfaced and was asking softball questions in these press conferences during the Iraq war in the very beginning of it. Um, but he was from a very kind of a, a like Talon News or something like that. And nobody had really heard of this guy. So some of the other White House uh, correspondents started checking into him, looking into who this guy was. And turns out he was a former uh, escort. Uh, former male escort from the DC area, and um, and that he was using this assumed name, uh, which is again very strange for someone with a security clearance to get into the White House to be using an alias. So very strange indeed, and that all came up because uh, there was rumors that he was Johnny Gosh now, you know, in his 30s and now going by the name Jeff Gannon. Um, his mom believes that she has seen him later in life, that he came to her apartment and visited her, I believe, in the late 90s. So there's some really, really fascinating stuff in this. And then, like I said, the part with there's some interesting information that surfaced around 2004, 2005, like there was a picture that surfaced of some of the kids that people believed had been kidnapped as part of this ring. In fact, 
I think there's even a picture that she believes might have been Johnny Gosh after post-kidnapping where he's tied up. And um, that when that picture surfaced, a lot of people said, oh, uh, you know, the official story was that this was just kids messing around. But when you see the picture, I'm sure it's out there where you can Google it, um, it does not look like kids playing around. So um, that surfaced and the Jeff Gannon scandal surfaced and then suddenly um, Hunter S. Thompson takes his own life. And that's key because uh, there were a lot of witnesses like uh, Paul Bonacci, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right or not, but uh, several of the people involved in the Franklin scandal had uh, said that Johnny that they had bumped into Johnny Gosh after he had been kidnapped. So, and Hunter S. Thompson was allegedly involved in uh, snuff film production. Whether or not that's true, I have no clue. But I find it very interesting that as a lot of that stuff kind of came to a head, Hunter Thompson suddenly got bumped off or committed suicide, what have you. So, anyway, why Johnny can't come home kidnapped while delivering newspapers forced into pornography prostitution mind control and espionage um, fascinating book and again you got to realize that this is written by a grieving mother who is trying to make sense of a very very difficult very heartbreaking situation and uh, and is trying to assemble all the pieces in the best way she knows how so I say that to say you know are there spelling errors in this? Of course there are. There's Are there grammar errors? Yes, things like that. But when you read, some of this information is so explosive, you can read really quick and figure out nobody was going to publish. If this had not been self-published, I doubt it would have been published at all. So um, very important part of my library dealing with the things like the Franklin scandal and... Uh, uh, the Franklin cover-up, the Nick Bryant book, and all that. Uh, all these things, I think, are all, all kind of orbiting in that same universe. This, of course, occurred right in that same area as the Franklin scandal. So, um, anyway, fascinating book. I don't know how hard this one is to get, but I'd be willing to bet right now it might be expensive again with some of the stuff going on in the world. So, anyway, Why Johnny Can't Come Home by Noreen N. Gosh. <laughs>